Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone's day? <laughs> As we proceed, you know, over here, uh, also, y'all need y'all to make sure that y'all follow me on Caffeine. Me and Easy Show is going about to start, you know, so we giving y'all the type of time that we on around this motherfucker. I have Jazz walking in this morning. Uh, last night, if you didn't catch it, <clears throat> Head Ice was in spaces talking his shit. Uh, that is on my page as well. Rex been talking his shit. I had math yesterday. I had Mook the night before. Only the legendary people over here for me. Like I, I'm not really one of the guys that likes to talk to the uh, the D leaders. To not too much, not too much. Just a just a little bit, you know. As you're waiting on Jazz to get in. Because there's some questions I want to ask Jazz about, like, it's a questions that I want to ask Jazz about her profession. I really do. I really, really do. Um, But, yeah, man, we've been trying to just kick it, keep the energy all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Keep being blessed. You hear me? Some of y'all niggas are not blessed because of your karma. Has nothing to do with me. Some of you niggas are going to stay fucked up because of your karma that has nothing to do with me. But for you niggas that got a chance, y'all in the right spot, man. You're in the right spot. This is a spot of healing. Let me see where Jazz at. Uh, tag Jazz for me, y'all. Can y'all tag Jazz for me, please? We're waiting on Jazz to pull in. Oski, what's up with you? Shout out to people that's in the room. Shout out to everybody that's pulling up. Make sure you share the space, share the space. We are about to get Jazz in this bitch right quick. Jazz is in the building. Now, Jazz, let me let me do my intro for you right fast. This won't take long. This girl has been around us. I don't do y'all know how like you always got the little girl in the hood and she just keeps coming outside like and you be like, man, go in the house, little girl. Like, she just won't stop. And then after time has passed, she becomes her own woman. And you got to look at her with the same kind of respect. Everybody, Jazz the Rapper is in the building. <laughs> Jazz, hello. How are you? Hey, so, you stupid. <laughs> so, Jazz, so, Jazz, let's get into the mind. I wanted to fuck with your brain a little bit. Sorry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's get why was the uh uh-huh all depressed? Uh uh-huh. like, no, no, it's not, I, not, like, not 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 usual brain. Like your regular brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So you um you're just you're extraordinary. Slick as a, yeah, so. slick as a can of oil. I love the words you chose too. You you're getting good. You my the wit is getting strong on you. You're extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary could have been anything. It was it was it was nice. I, we don't get to. I I will definitely get you back in this time. So you know you oh, you man. got the first one off. We're good. So Jazz, All let right. me ask you a question. What gave you the passion and the drive for battle rap? Um. Well, it started when I was younger. Um, I always used to watch battle rap. So I was watching Smack DVDs and I was watching the battles on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I definitely will say that's where it started. I never even, I, I never had a desire to actually battle rap. Like I wasn't watching them saying, yeah, I'm going to do that one day. Like that just wasn't, that wasn't a thing like for me. Mm-hmm. Um, even like seeing Lady Luck and Remy doing it, it still just wasn't a thing for me. Like I was just rapping, like doing songs and stuff like that. Um, but then when Debo discovered me, because I was rapping on Um Peace radio show. Yeah, um Peace. Um <laughs> yep. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Um, he hit me up and he was like, Yo, I have this league called Queen of the Ring and I want you to battle. And I was like, Yeah, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> like I just that's felt, stupid. <laughs> you, you yo, like, I felt that's like not for me. That's not for me. That's not for me. I literally was like, yo, they're so mean and angry. Like that's just not me. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just stupid. Hey, so look, before you even came here, you knew this shit was stupid. So you are yo, knew- like I'm like, son, nah, I can't do it. Like it's too much aggression. Like nah, I'm good. Like I, I'll stay a fan, but. It ain't for me. Hmm. But um, so at the time, I knew newborn and I knew DNA. Hmm. And newborn told me I should do it. DNA told me I shouldn't. I went with newborn's advice. And 
here I am. Um, I never really wanted to battle anyway, so I think that kind of played a part in why I never battled so much. Uh -huh. But um, so you know, after why do you think DNA told you no? Ah, uh, if I can remember correctly, I think. I think it was more so on the fact that he knew that I was on the music side. So he felt like once I started battle rapping, I would just get stuck in that world. Mm. And he was right. <laughs> okay, because it, it sucked you in. So he, so, okay. So what actually they both gave you good advice. Then, huh? Yeah, they did. And I'm glad I listened to newborn. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, battle rap is different from being an artist, but I would have never thought I would get so much, you know, I notoriety from being yeah. a battle rapper. So battle, yeah, battle rap is a it's a tricky thing because you, you you don't know how far you can go. You yeah. never, like it's, it's 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 if you catch you catch and you stick forever. If you don't, then you just don't. Hey, I'm gonna ask you this though: Do the girls, the female rappers, do y'all have a like a locker room alliance, kind of like okay, like for instance, with with all of us, we can the top niggas we can joke on each other at all times. If a little mm -hmm. nigga walks in and he jokes, we all joke him. Do y'all have that? Like if a, like if a little practice nigga no. and he start laughing and we, hey man, who is, wait wait, you can't say nothing to him though. We can do that. Y'all don't do that. Mm -mm. Okay, so y'all no. y'all would just let the bitch die. That's what you're saying. What you mean? Like, what okay. you mean? <laughs> like, like, hey, this is sick. Like, okay, so let me get this straight. A girl can walk in the middle of y'all joking on each other, and if the girl jokes on one of y'all, y'all don't all jump her. Y'all just let that girl die? Um... The point I'm trying I to say, do y'all have an I alliance? Think, do y'all have any I mean, kind of... I don't... Cause I know what I t I know what type of alliance the niggas have. So I, if there's an alliance, it's definitely not as as is as intact as y'all's. I'll say that. Okay. Now, why do you think? Um, mm, that is a good question. Um, I think it's because women in general. Um, mm. I think it, it goes back to what I said about battle rap. Like I think battle rap is is. So to me, it's a man's sport, and mm. a lot of men understand competition more than women do. Mm -hmm. So I think with women, like they might take some things more personal than others, or they might just not like a girl for whatever reason they have, and it's just gonna stay with them. Like it could be so many things. So that's mm. why I think that it's not as, um, like 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 you see with the guys, y'all are so it's like tightly sewn together, and again. I know this because I've been around y'all for mm -hmm. damn near 12 years. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know the ins and outs. With the women, it's not like that. Like, you might have your your two or maybe, maybe at the very most, three females that's cool with each other, that's in the mm -hmm. same circle, mm -hmm. but you're not getting that a lot. You're not getting so, that a lot. So how do y'all, do you think it's possible for y'all to form? It, 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 it's like, this is my thing with it, right? Y'all, like, y'all have to come in not y'all have to. I'm saying, like, if y'all formed y'all own line of defense, like seasoned girls, it don't matter if y'all super cool. It don't matter. No, seasoned girls is like y'all can't say nothing to them if you under us. Only we can. Do you think that's possible for y'all? Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to think because it's... Can, why don't we just start a rule now? Like, why don't we line up the girls that have been here the ones that's putting in the work, and you draw the line in the sand, like, hey, look, all the new girls, y'all good, but don't challenge these, or we all challenge you. That's one way y'all can get some kind of unity. I think that, matter of fact, tag the female rappers. I think that makes sense. If you think about that, Jay. So right? give an example, like, use names, so I can kind of understand. I, okay, like, okay, like, seasoned girls, like I would say, okay, you, 40, official, okay, see, like, uh, then you go just just uh, any girl that's hustle, any girl that's been here for a long time, mm -hmm. right? If you seen her, put her hours in. You know what I'm saying? That line should be like, like, like it got to be at least what eight? Uh, let's say let's say six and up, the six and up class, right? Mm -hmm. Six years and up. Y'all have to be able to say, hey, baby, you can't play with her. We can play with her, but you don't qualify to play with her yet. So if so, if you saying if one of those girls was to say something about 
let's say uh E Heart, then yeah, yeah, I would then, be then like, nah, you I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I feel like I feel like I feel like we do do that. I do feel like we do it. I'm not like I said, yeah, I do feel like we do that, but it's not like an official alliance, if that makes sense. Like it's kind of mm. just like you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, just like, even like you said, we could come at each other like, me and E-Heart might have words. Me and 40 might have words. Me and Hustle might have words. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to somebody that's lower than us trying to talk crazy about Hustle, like, nah, you're wild. And like, I could talk crazy about Hustle because I didn't put in pain with her. Yeah. But you, you, can. you, you not qualified, ma. That, 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 you see, that's what I'm saying. That should be a rule. Because I see a lot of like new girls, they just feel comfortable with saying anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I mean, some of the new. I like, think I, a lot of them like the attention though, because they know that somebody gonna respond if it ain't the person that they looking for the attention to. Like somebody's going to respond. But okay, but but why? Like okay, like how can a girl come here for two two months and start talking? Now if she come with two months and she getting busy. Y'all can you know? Hey, we like you. It got to be like the godmothers. Of this shit, like where is the god mom? Where is the mamas? Can we let's just get a name for y'all? The mamas, where is the mama? <laughs> like, come on, hey, look, right now we just coined a new phrase for the top tier girls, the mamas. Where yeah. is the mom? Hey, look, everybody tweet if you agree. The mamas, let's get the mamas. Where is the mamas? Because that's what they are. They they they've been here the longest. They can show you the way. You follow mama. You follow uh, mama. Right? Um. Yeah, nobody really, I mean, yeah, we can be officially that, but nobody really wants to, like, like look up to people like that, especially if you if you knew in the game, because that easily could get thrown right back in your face, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, no, you just... no, it can't be, because y'all, t- like, I don't, I agree with seniority, right? <clears throat> I agree that, okay, if some money drop, the first option of money for the girl should be this line first, the ones that been here the longest. Y'all pass up, then they go down. Do that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, like, because I think the money should come to the season, girl, because y'all really have a stronger base than what y'all think. It's just they're scattered. It's They're scattered. You have to, like, kind of, like, one of y'all has to, like, grab the girls by their heart and say, hey, sit down, man. We finna sit, come sit down. Everybody, let, let's go to dinner, and let's figure out how to tighten this shit up. That's it. All y'all got the same goal, right? Y'all have the same goal as to get money and stay the best. Everybody say that. That's how gangsters do it. That's not but what, but what does that do, though, to you? It forms an alliance where we say, hey, look, y'all, we don't all have to get along. This is you, like an like invite-only kind of class that y'all have. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, we don't all got to get along, but we all have to draw this line of respect. We don't do this to each other, and we don't let new girls say shit to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we good? If everybody see that, we get okay. That that's called order. Okay, so but my thing is like you have the mm-hmm. order, but then what does that do? Order is power. You don't think that there's certain girls that have power though? No, no, no. If you take power away from them off the jump, how do they gain any? You can't gain any because okay, like for instance, right? If a girl comes in and she's dissing the mamas, right? That means nobody should even entertain that. No blogger, nobody should pick that up. Keep her in her shell until she can grow out of it. Y'all smash her together. Like, instead of beating on each other, y'all should smash the new hoes. Take their faces and rub it in the ground. Not here. Not here. You understand what I'm saying? Because I I say that because y'all have put in, as battle rappers, I honestly believe it's harder for y'all to put it together than us. Because just natural things y'all have more emotion your body changes once a month what what happens when you got a period and you get a deposit and you got to get ready no, we crying. don't like, like no i'm serious we never thought like that we never see y'all from that side of the street or when your emotion or our bodies get up faster than y'all's so y'all have to get it done with limited drive you feel what i'm saying like the testosterone in us makes us get up and and get to it Y'all have uh, estrogen to slow you down. And you got to do it through a period, bro. That's power. That's why I don't think y'all should play with that shit. Push them. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This too hard over here. Um. Yeah. I, like I said, I think we do have it. It's just like, it's just not as obvious. You know what it is? This is mm-hmm. what it is. There's more men than women. You feel me? So you see mm-hmm. how you just named like six women? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of really it. With the men, it's way more than six. 
So it looks stronger than what it is. It's it's gonna be stronger than what it is. No, it's weaker. Have you seen the movie Three Hundred? No, it's weaker. The men side is more. We have more, but we have more weakness. Y'all can trim the fat a lot faster. We have more. But how weakness. does? But my question is, because I'm trying to like, like I get what you're saying. Like you feel like it should be aligned. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But what does that do for female battle rap? Uh, no, no, I'm telling you, it controls the money. What do it you controls- mean by that? Everything will go through the front line. It's a chain of command. Like, look, if y'all establish ground first, everything falls to y'all first, and then it trickles down to everybody else. You do see you what not I'm think that this happens already? No. Why? Not at the clip it should. Unity is always better than division. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I hit you with a finger, you can walk by with that. You know what it's what it is. I could I can't, I'm trying to it's like you're answering the questions, but you're not answering the question because you're saying that you don't think this is what happens, but no, because why okay, do like, you think like, like that? I see like this. Okay, I got you. I, let me explain it a little better then. Okay. I see pillars in the female game and they don't really ever agree on anything. You see what I'm saying? Like amongst like, each other? Yeah, like amongst each other. A majority of y'all with power disagree with each other constantly. Do you see what I'm saying? The the the, the way that we see it from this side. Y'all ain't You mean like as just little like you talking about like just little arguments in general? Yeah, just like okay. there's no yeah, it's like a something we need we need a line of y'all that's the power rangers that's like we first. And if we said that ain't fly, that ain't fly. So if a new girl coming in and she playing with this girl, this hey, you might want to chill out. We don't do that. Here. Mama, be mama. You know how a mama look at a kid in the store like, don't touch them. You know that? Hey, y'all need to do that. Hey, shorty, pull your skirt down. Niggas, uh, our men here. How you want this to go? <laughs> that kind of shit, man. Come on. You got the power. Why not use it? I mean, I don't. I don't really see. I really, I still don't get your point because you're saying it controls the money. Like, the money, the, the order, order pillars, structure is what I mean. Structure. There, but there is order and structure, though. No, the bigger no. girls get more money. Yeah, yeah, y'all are right. But guess what? The bigger girls are going to get more money. But nobody else should get nothing unless y'all pass it down. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe okay, Hollow, you heard. Do you see what I'm saying? Hold on, let me see what I'm saying. Let me see if he think if he can understand what I'm saying, or maybe I sound I don't know, but it sounds this is what I'm what I'm saying is unity with y'all brings y'all more money, is what I'm saying. Unity with y'all brings y'all more exposure, more money, because you got to think uh, a ja- if jazz get into it with an e heart, a jazz fan will never listen to an e heart. A e heart fan will not listen to a jazz. You think that's right? No. No? You don't think so? No. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. So let me ask you this question. Another one while we're right here, Dan. Who is your favorite female rapper, period? Period? Like, yo, the, the girls that inspired you the most, who were they? Mm, it's really just, um, it's really just MC Light and Nicki Minaj. Where's Foxy at? Jazz. She didn't inspire me. Okay. Right. So you didn't like, okay. <laughs> that was it. So it was just them two with you. That's it. Yeah, it's really just them two because I, because um obviously if you see the type of rap I am, I mm. it's not, no, nothing close to how Foxy rap or what she raps about mm. at all. So I don't they, think similar, similar with you and Nikki though, either though. Maybe you like the style of them. She's a punchline rapper and that's what I like. Do you like it when Safari do it? Safari? Yeah. Um, I can't say that I've liked any of oh, anything I've heard he did, he's done. Wow, Jazz. Nikki and Safari rap the exact same, and you don't want to hear it from Safari? I don't think they rap the same. What? Is there anybody in here that said that? <laughs> I don't think they rap the same. Jazz, sounds, what are you talking about? To me, he sounds, to me, when he, to me, he sounds corny. He sounds like Nikki if she was a man. Well, he's a man though. He shouldn't sound like Nikki. That's the thing. So that's probably why I don't like it. Like, it. okay, all right, fuck it. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's that's the reason why you don't like it. Then, I, I, hello, you hear it? <laughs> that's I don't. The I don't like it. I don't, I don't, well, anyway, so you asked me who inspired me. All right, what's the yeah. next question? 
Yeah, it was just those two? Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. What's your, what's your favorite drink, Jay? Come on, man. You know the answer to that. No, nah, like, come on. Let's talk that drink shit. People ask me to ask you this. What, what's my, your favorite drink? My thought juice, man. Okay, so out of all the places you've been in the world, who has the best thought juice? This own oh my god, that juice is the um not La Marina. We know yes, that. that's I'm, that I'm talking juice. about where is the place that you visited and you had the best alcohol? The best al- alcohol is alcohol. What you mean? You just said posted you wanted to try this place with a big ass cup. Didn't you post that a little while ago? Yeah, because it's a big cup. Not because what's in it. Okay, so you ain't never been to a club and had better drinks than other ones, Jazz? Yes, you have. Son, all the drinks is the same, bruh. Okay, so when you drink La Marita, they all the same? Yes, sir. All right, you, so you must just, not know what a La Marita is. Hey, listen, hey, I know what it is. I'm just scared to get out on it. I don't know what it's, the... it's a it's a it's a drink from Bud Light. It's this it's not a it's not something that you can just make. So it's not like four loco, right? No. Okay, so do you have a La Marita every day? No, absolutely not. Okay, I'm just asking. I mean, we're just trying to get to know jazz. That's Absolutely it. not. Now, nah, I'm I'll definitely say, um, I definitely say when I went to DR, like those drinks was pretty like strong. New Orleans, of course, they you know, they're known for their drinks. So I'll say New Orleans and DR is probably the, the top two that, you know, I had the best experience with the drinks. The, or or do, do you think it was just the vibe and the atmosphere? The vibe be taking you a lot of places too though. Like a lot of places I've been, it's the vibe, man. I mean, yeah, because New Orleans definitely is a vibe, but I've been a lot of places, so I'm able to gauge, you know, mm-hmm. if I'm able to gauge what it really is. DR and New Orleans, them drinks get you right, especially New Orleans. Where's where, where is the place you would live if you didn't live in New York? Where would you live? L.A. I'm about to move. You pick L.A. over New Orleans? Absolutely. No, now, let me tell you something about New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans is literally everything is 15 minutes away. That is too small for me. I will not survive three months in a place like that. That's because you grow up, you grew up with all that space and people. Yeah, I wouldn't survive and it gets too humid and I'm not about to be nowhere with no hurricanes. I'm sorry. That doesn't, that don't sound safe to me. I'm not going to get earthquakes though, man. They do, but do it really be causing that much trouble as much as these hurricanes? No. All that natural disaster shit will fuck you over. Listen, yeah, man, they I have earthquakes one. and they have forest fires, but I'll tell you this: them hurricanes be way more tragic. Everywhere. Y'all don't, y'all don't see. Well, okay, one time I tell you this. Uh, one time, R.I.P. Fred. Fred was in St. Louis. He had a show with, uh, I think it was Talib Kweli, right? And uh, we had a tornado that came that night fred Mm -hmm. called me he said verb what is this shit man like hot like he it's like he never saw it and then seeing one for real he was like what is this yeah nah yeah it's it's like you never seen one fly hell no i shit myself ever since wizard of oz i was traumatized i'm not mm -mm. see we synced them like we had one in st louis that spent for 30 seconds and took the whole airport down see 30 seconds of that. A tornado can get you the fuck up. I, I ain't know. gonna hold you. Now, see, out of all the natural disasters, I feel like the one that I would be the most scared of mm-hmm. is tsunami. But a tornado is number two, bruh. Are you, <laughs> so you terrified of a tornado? Te- I don't even, like, I wouldn't know what to do. Like, that a tor- the fact that, that that even exists, what's the reason? Uh, okay, <laughs> so you say that's some that's some stupid shit to have. Yeah, because why do you have a cycle of dust so, and why, air just wild? Uh, I think a tornado forms with hot and cold. Why would hot and cold air ever hit? Why does it do that? You get what I'm saying? Like I don't like I don't care about the science and and why it literally happens, but it's stupid. Like imagine the first tornado <laughs> ever. Niggas was probably like thinking that it was the end of the world. Why the fuck is the wind blowing? So Where are we going? Where are we here? going? We just going up to space? <laughs> nah, man. They tell us to. Let me tell you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to find a corner and get in the corner. That's the safest spot. You go in the basement. See, oh, and boy. because you because you from the Midwest. That's mm-hmm. shit that they teach y'all in school. Now, I did learn this 
but it's not something that they instill in us. Why? Because we don't have things like that. Yeah, well, 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 hold on. It's a lot of shit that y'all have that we think is stupid too. Like that much traffic, that much, that many people. Like it, it, it doesn't make sense to have that many humans. Everywhere has, place. everywhere has traffic though. So we're not doing that. Uh, the, the, the the traffic in in New York and L.A. is different. No, Atlanta too though. And that's what I'm saying. You just named three whole cities. Miami's bad too. Miami's bad. It's so many places that have traffic. So traffic is just gonna be traffic. Like that's you. You never gonna stay, escape traffic. You know what I'm saying like that's just gonna happen wherever you are. I don't care how small your city is. It's gonna happen. I've seen it in the smallest cities. But I do. I got a question. Did y'all used to have tornado drills in school? Absolutely. See, that's crazy. Absolutely. They yeah, because I mean they had to train you. Hey, this is what happens when that bitch spin. This is how we maneuver. That's it. Like it's you, you. First thing you do is get in the basement. You get low, find a corner, cover your head. That's it. Wait. So you what mean? does getting in the corner do? Uh, I think it's something to do with the structure of how a building is, like the way it will fall or something like that. I don't know. Wait, time out. Is. Then Dorothy try to go in the shed. Dorothy is not from St. Louis. Now, come on. We're not going to do that. She's Dorothy from is, right there. Dorothy is from another <laughs> block, man. Like, you're not finna. Now, come on. Now, look. Now, come yeah. on, man. Like, now, look. Come on, man. Now, look. Oh, Some of this shit. from right there. I, Ike is from right there. How about that? That's a better representation. Dorothy is from somewhere. Where Dorothy from? Anybody know She's where from Dorothy Kansas. From? Okay, that's four hours down the street, man. Four hours from New York is what? Four hours? Baltimore? All right. That ain't the same shit, is it? No. First off, first off, it ain't no first off. Dorothy would not even make it through St. Louis. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no little white woman hey, with pigtails skipping around thinking she talking about some she lost. Bitch, you lost where? Like first off, that wouldn't have never flew with us. Dorothy had to live in somewhere else. You would never got that out of there. Ain't no Dorothy's in St. Louis. Where, where y'all gonna find these at? Shit, we. Uh, <laughs> Dorothy definitely could never live. Her socks pulled up. She happy skipping around and shit. Man, yeah, right. Nah, you wild. Uh, but that's just, you know, y'all demographic and our demographic, like the things that y'all used to listen to, we didn't understand at all. Like, you know how you like St. Louis niggas, right? Why, why do you say When the fuck? What? what? You did say that. You said that. I've never said that. I've never said that. Yes, you fucking did. No, you I said Yes, you said that a couple times. I love St. Louis niggas. Yes, you did. You're lying. You are fucking lying. You, so you didn't say that last Why would I say that? Why, why would I love y'all? The interview, you tweeted this and said, I love St. Louis niggas. Yes, you did say that before. All right, I'm going to say this. If I did say it, it probably had everything to do with them having dreads. It's nothing else. I, I, okay, but then you <laughs> last week you just posted and you said, these are the worst men on the planet. St. Louis. <laughs> Look, you said St. Louis, niggas, New Orleans. <laughs> and what was the other place? Jazz Chicago. Place? Right. But so, which one of the St. Louis niggas hurt you? Because uh, we'll no, have... First of all, first of all, first of all, ain't nobody hurt me. What I said was... <laughs> what? I mean, you did say You got to be a different type of tough to deal with these type of niggas. Where they from? You got to be. Well, okay, so tell us why. Why do you think it's tough to deal with certain niggas? Them, I'm, they, these three for me, I feel like y'all, y'all, y'all are wired different. Y'all are wired very differently. Let's and talk about it. Like what? Give me an example. Like what? Y'all are wired differently. Like I feel like, like the offense way offense like, or defense. What you mean? Like what, coming at you or how we defend? Mm, definitely offense. Okay, all right, so that's our offensive. Okay, let, definitely let, let, offense. Tell like, me, how, how does a St. Louis nigga try to talk to you? How does a Chicago nigga try to talk to you? <laughs> and how does a New Orleans nigga try to talk to you? No. What is a St. Louis nigga going to say to you? Just it's, 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 it's like, it's not even what they say to me, right? It's just how y'all brains are wired. Like, the way that y'all think is not normal. Now, okay, like that's what, all <laughs> because that's all because of the way that y'all cities are. You feel me? And the way that yeah, yeah, your upbringing is. But like I genuinely feel like out of all the cities, them three is really like it's bad. Like it's bad and it's, <laughs> them the it's worst visible. Niggas. It's visible, like it's just hey, like hold on. tweet jazz just said I want everybody here to tweet this. 
Jazz just <laughs> said the worst niggas is in St. Louis, Chicago, and New Orleans. This is what Jazz just said. Let me just say I love Chicago and I love New Orleans. St. Louis and but yeah. Okay, so I'm asking you, what is what is that? Is it our arrogance? Is it the what what is it? Mm. What is, what is a characteristic that all St. Louis niggas have that you met? What is one characteristic that they have? Y'all are definitely always let me get the perfect word. You mean perfectly I, always I low perfect? Key, right? I low key t- kind of want to say paranoid, but I don't want to OP. <laughs> no, no, they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Cut. All of us. No, no, look, look, Dad. <laughs> we can't trust them St. Louis bitches. They'll do any, so we don't trust no hey y'all anybody that knows that we are not trusting no girl, man. That's the last thing I'm telling you. I, I watch Heartless and them almost get lined up, man. I had to go save them. Man, them are different, man. Wait, so why? What it, happened with them? I know they was in a club one night and they had some hoes. He hit me like, hey, we got some hoes. We finna go do this. I said, all right, cool. And then he called me back. He was like, yeah, we just they just dropped us off at this gas station. So, uh, they finna change their car and come around here and come get us. They ain't want to see their house because they ain't know. Man, what? Hey, they told me where. I sped down. Uh-uh. Come on, get off that lot, nigga. Get off that lot because that's why we can't trust y'all. We like we look at everything like, nah, they're trying to kill me. Y'all trying to kill me or y'all trying to get me robbed. Now, what is a, <laughs> what is a, what is a, a Chicago nigga thing? Oh, Chicago niggas is just really super aggressive. And me being from New York, I know that we're aggressive, as even the women, but Chicago niggas are definitely super aggressive. Like, I feel like a lot of them don't even really know how to, um, how to love. Like, like how, how do they come at you? How, like, how? Um, it's not necessarily how they come at me. It's just certain conversations I've had or just certain experiences I've had. Like, it's just like, damn, y'all niggas really is just like, like, did y'all have love at home or... Y'all don't want to be hurt. I don't know. And New Orleans is what violent? <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get to the point. I know. I know what them niggas is. It's like, yeah, that's like nah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty, Chica- pretty much. Chicago yeah. niggas is straightforward because they live for the moment. They don't really like think like ten years. They don't mm-hmm. think like that. Mm-hmm. They come straight at you like, hey, what's up, shorty? Like that, that's it. You know how New Orleans yeah. part. They they are they are rock you to sleep too. Yeah, them yeah, niggas, that you, niggas you, you said it. Boy. You just said it for me. Like mm-hmm. New Orleans niggas is just always always ready to go. Yeah, but 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 they approach you like, what's that? I'm love. They right. They so smooth. Yeah, great. Yo, love. Yo, nah, we ain't, we're not nah, even love, lying. A, a nigga tell you, nah, jazz love. We ain't gonna do nothing to you. It's love. Yo, and then you crazy. pull off the line. Your whole car shot up. That's no, I swear to God, God because I really feel mm-hmm. like. I really feel like I didn't been in I didn't been to New Orleans like at least fifteen times. I really feel like I never heard a New Orleans nigga yell. They don't. <laughs> they don't raise their voice. It's, it's everything. Everything is smooth. Like, wow, what's that, bitch? Yeah, like it's like, and then they're like, oh, oh, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, We're yeah. That's say, crazy. Yeah. And, and it's like they never, but they could be dangerous as fuck, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. We ain't finna do it. Like they, they have a, they know how to talk to people. They do. Real uh, shit. They, they also know how to 